Welcome back to the Sandra Page Things. This is going to be my third to last work and career vlog January series. Lots of things have happened and I'm excited to share them all with you so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the video. Spoiler alert, no, none of those things include getting a job but we're still working on it and it's been interesting filming this entire series and still not having anything. But I'm going to share with you guys like the babysitting and the stuff that I did. Um, and then also a little chat about interviews and applications towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Alright, let's get into it. So, take two of trying to mail the same package. Now I have it in a really terrible looking Amazon box. Um, and I hope that they accept it. Now, I was trying to avoid going to the one, the post office that I went to last week. But it looks like I have no choice now because my lovely seatbelt decided to get stuck. And the one that's right here is now closed. So, now I have to drive all the way back down to that other one which is essentially a waste of gas and time and everything else. And I didn't want to go there, but here we go. Great times. Okay, that was just as miserable as expected, but the package is gone. And I'm trying not to think about it because of what happened last week. So now my options are, I can either go over to my mom's house and pick up the DVDs I need to bring to church tomorrow, or I can head back and do all the things I need to do. So, <laughs> I obviously need to wash my hair. As you can tell, it's disgusting and needs to not be disgusting tonight. So I need to wash and straighten it. Then I also am supposed to clean my room and film a book review. <laughs> and then tonight I have babysitting. So, I think I'm still gonna go with the plan to do all that stuff go to Panera for dinner, head to my mom's, and then go babysit after that. I think that's the plan. Okay, so I just got back from that. I'm gonna try to get this cleaning time lapse filmed. I don't wanna like wear myself out or anything, but at least to like tidy up this room, cause it needs it. Guys, I wish I was vlogging when I saw this. <sighs> so happy. Um, so apparently I have reached 60 subscribers what that's crazy and I'm so excited first of all that means there were two people away from my February 1st goal and it's almost February 1st I have to check all the different <laughs> platforms just to see if this is real man I've been I've been looking for the past few days just waiting for it to happen and then I gasped when I saw it. I wish I'd had that on camera, but I cannot recreate it. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, it's real. Oh, my word. This is crazy. This is pretty good. Pretty close to the live reaction because I can't believe this. My heart is so happy. Ah! Thank you to whoever just subscribed to my channel. My heart is so happy. Like, I don't even have words right now. I finished editing my cleaning video for IGTV. I'm going to try to upload it. I've never had any success uploading there before, but we're going to try it. Um, and I was just checking my analytics just to see if anyone had watched a video. And then I saw that number and I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys, okay, can I just say... It was, <laughs> it was a month ago that I had like 30 something people. And so now 
we've almost doubled it. And that was like a dream in my mind. <laughs> like I just thought like, hey, it'd be so cool if I could double my subscriber count every month of 2020. And now we're almost there. When I restarted YouTube, I had, I think, 29 subscribers. So 29 of you guys. And so now there's more than double that. And that's amazing. Ah, okay, I gotta go get this other video up. But I just wanted to share that with you all because... Oh my gosh. I can't stop smiling like a weirdo. And I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, last thing, and I promise I'm going to sleep. I just want to say, like, it's so much more than just, like, a numbers thing. Like, I'm super excited because this was my goal. Um, but I realized that this is you guys, and this is your time and your lives that you are, like, participating in my life. I don't know. That sounds weird. I just am really grateful that people take the time to watch my videos and to subscribe. That's so nice of you. Like, thank you. So, I just have, like, numbers goals to, like, keep pushing me along. But to see that people actually want to watch them makes me really happy. So, thank you, guys. Okay, now I swear I'm going to bed because I look ridiculous and I'm tired. So, Good morning guys. So I hope you saw that we reached 61 subscribers so far. So thank you so much to those of you who have joined over the weekend. I really appreciate you. And just so you know, you are part of me almost reaching my goal of getting to 62 subscribers by February 1st, which is quite a random number. Um, but actually that is doubling of when I had 31 subscribers technically in December I made it my goal to double in the month of January and so then by February 1st I want 62. We're almost there so I'm really really excited. It's still very mind-blowing to think that that many people are subscribed to me. Like I'm just trying to process it and I really quite can't right now. I don't know it's just it just feels like such a huge number to me but anyway that being said there's a chance we might have to make the March goal March 1st goal even higher than what it is we'll see I was supposed to put up a book review on Sunday and my plan well my plan originally was to film it on Saturday because I thought that I had babysitting a half hour later than I did but I ended up having to leave a lot earlier just based on the time I had to get there so my time to film was completely taken out so I wasn't able to do that on Saturday and then Sunday I was planning to do it after church and after we had family in town um, and I just felt horrible by last evening I don't know, I have not been able to like regulate my body temperature, I've been super dehydrated, which last night I was like drinking tons of liquid and soup and putting on lotion and chapstick and stuff and I'm still really dehydrated if you can't tell. I just completely passed out and I didn't wake up till like 11.30 at night, so filming last night or yesterday was not gonna happen and I'm really sorry about that because I really want to get that book review up. I think I'm gonna have to miss volunteering today so I've got to let her know that and then there's something else to update. Oh and so then I'm also gonna work on applying to jobs in a little bit. First I'm gonna catch up on some of the YouTube videos that are in my watch later and then I'm gonna work on applying to some jobs. <laughs> about different like online jobs that you can apply for so I'm gonna watch that and see what the video suggests and then try out some of those so I left off talking about like job applications and stuff like that this is not exactly the super professional spot I intended to talk about this but 
I also wanted to talk in the same video that I talked about applications, I wanted to talk about interviews and interview questions. First tip, don't wear this. Second of all, um, I mean, obviously. One thing that I do is I always have this notebook when I go to interviews. Unless it's like a super formal interview, in which case I bring my folder, which is not here. I always like to write out the questions and then go over them so that I have the questions that I want to ask in my mind. And so what I recommend is you have these questions. That way when they ask, do you have any questions? You say, yes, I do. And then you ask whatever they are. However, also make sure that in an interview, you are letting the conversation flow naturally. And I think that that's something that I can tell when an interview is going well based off of the conversation and also based off of how they like end the interview like if somebody says it was nice to meet you that usually means that they're not planning on pursuing they're like making some kind of next steps that actually sounds like something's gonna happen then that's a little bit of a better sign of course it's not a guarantee i've been asked like how you deal with customers in every kind of interview that I've had, whether it was a retail or legal or teaching or babysitting, how you deal with people, how you deal with problems, how you deal with conflict, those kinds of things you need to be prepared to answer in absolutely any interview. What kind of personality traits I think that the person filling the role I'm applying for should have. Those are two that you should have prepared in your mind no matter where you're going to apply for it. And even if you're going to an interview where it's not like a, where it's like a screening interview kind of thing, always still have questions because you want to show that you care. And also it's the perfect opportunity to get your questions answered about the organization or the place that you could possibly be working or volunteering. So it's always good to have some things in mind and for me it's just so nice to like look through and see questions that I've asked in the past and remember oh yes I want to ask that again oh I found their reading list this is a sign of a really really good phone interview <laughs> because right here's a question I had written right here is a question I had written and right there is a question I had written. I had written three questions. And from those questions came all of this information. And this was an example of a really good conversation that I had with a phone interview for the internship that I did in law school where it was a really give and take interview and we were just having a conversation. I was asking questions that came naturally from caring about the subject matter and what I would be doing with the internship. Dress like you are working the job that you're applying for. Well, if you guys have any interview tips, leave them in the comments below so you guys can help other people out. My voice cannot take much more, so I'm gonna go. But thank you guys so much for watching and for being part of this series all month of January. We have two more working career vlogs and I was really hopeful that I would get a job before the end of this month. Okay, on that note, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!